Grandma's Bananas. Grandma's garden was wonderful, full of sorghum, millet, and cassava. But the best of all were the bananas. Although Grandma had many grandchildren, I secretly knew that I was her favorite. She invited me often to her house. She also told me little secrets. But there was one secret she did not share with me. Where she ripened the milk. One day, I saw a big straw basket placed in the sun outside Grandma's house. When I asked what it was for, the only answer I got was, it's my magic basket. Next to the basket were several banana leaves that Grandma turned from time to time. I was curious, what are the leaves for, Grandma? I asked. The only answer I got was, they are my magic leaves. It was so interesting watching Grandma banana, the banana leaves, and the big straw basket. But Grandma sent me off to my mother on an arrow. Grandma, please let me watch as you prepare. Don't be stubborn, child. Do as you're told, she insisted. I took off running. When I returned, Grandma was sitting outside. There was neither basket nor the banana. Grandma, where is the basket? Where are all of the bananas? And where? The only answer we got was, they're in my magic place. It was so disappointing. Two days later, Grandma sent me to fetch her walking stick from her bedroom. As soon as I opened the door, I was welcomed by the strong smell of ripening bananas. In the inner room was Grandma's big magic straw basket. It was well hidden by an old blanket. I lifted it and sniffed that glorious smell. Grandma's voice startled me when she called. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring me the stick. I hurried out with the walking stick. What are you smiling about? question made me realize that I was still smiling at the discovery of her magic place. The following day, when Grandma came to visit my mother, I rushed to her house to check the bananas once more. There was a bunch of very ripe ones. I picked one and hid it in my dress. After covering the basket again, I went behind the house and quickly sweetest banana I had ever tasted. The following day, when Grandma was in the garden picking vegetables, I sneaked in and peered at the bananas. Nearly all were ripe. I couldn't help picking a bunch of four. As I tiptoed towards the door, I heard Grandma puffing herself. I just managed to hide the bananas under my dress and walked the house. Later that evening, I was called by my mother and father and grandma. I knew why. That night, as I lay down to sleep, I knew I could never steal again. Not from grandma, not from my parents, and certainly not 